This is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. I have another exciting episode for you. In this one, I'm on another field trip here, and we're here in Rohnert Park, California, at the home of Monster Gardens. Now, Monster Garden is probably one of the largest online hydroponics stores, but they also have a retail storefront here. And we're here visiting Monster Gardens actually to share with you guys some products that may allow you to grow better. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, John, this is about products. I'm not watching. Good. Well, let's turn it off now. This is for the people that want to really excel at what they're growing. I mean, you can always grow in dirt with nothing else, but you know, the products can help you grow a better garden. If you, you don't think you need them, that's all right. You know, you may not need them. I like to use some of the products in here and I, a lot of them in here side are crap. Let me tell you that in the get go, but a lot of them actually are very beneficial for uh, in home, in ground, outside gardeners. I mean, most of the hydroponic industry is used for growing hydroponically indoors and you know, there's pros and cons of hydroponics. But what I'm gonna share with you guys today is actually the cool products that may be available at your local hydroponics store, but you can also purchase online at monstergardens.com. So first we're gonna go into the retail store, give you a quick tour of the retail store and some of the cool products. This is probably one of the best hydroponics stores I've been to, because it's really a hands-on store. And then we're gonna go into the back room of the warehouse and share some warehouse-only deals with you guys, my viewers. Now we're outside the Monster Gardens retail store here, and they're open Monday through Saturday. So that's really cool, six days a week, but don't come on Sundays. So uh, let's go ahead and head inside and uh, check out this cool store that's like no other hydroponic store I've ever visited. So as you come inside the store, it's really cool. I mean, you can stand at one place inside the store and like look and like pan around the whole store and like pretty much you could see all the products. A lot of the different items are actually, you could just look, touch and feel and we're gonna show you a few cool ones in a minute. So uh, the first thing I wanna share with you guys is inside a hydroponics store, there's lots of different things and most of the stuff inside a hydroponics store is meant for, you know, hydroponic growers. And these are people that are growing inside and it's highly unfortunate in my opinion that many hydroponic growers uh, grow with um, synthetic uh, chemical fertilizers and whatnot and maybe use some toxic things actually that I don't recommend using. But there's totally a way to do things naturally, organically and you know the organic uh, segment within hydroponics is slowly growing. I wish it was growing a lot faster and I, I truly believe that's really the way that we should be growing. That being said, you know, hydroponics to me is a wealth of knowledge. I've learned a lot of things from people growing hydroponically and in the hydroponic industry because that's where like innovation occurs. Like they've learned about things like the mycorrhiza. They've learned about compost teas to, you know, enhance growth inside when people are growing indoors. And we could also as in ground gardeners take some of that information and then use it to our advantage outside in the ground to better duplicate nature. So what we're going to do next up here, I'm going to take you around the store and share with you a handful of products that I like inside here, plus some other cool things along the way. So uh, come on. So the first thing I want to share with you guys are right here. I mean, the main part of hydroponics is the lighting. And uh, these are a whole bunch of the HPS lighting. And one of the cool things they're doing here at Monster Gardens is they're recycling your lighting. And I encourage all the growers out there, once you have a bulb that goes bad, don't just chuck it in the trash, man. Take it somewhere where it could get recycled. I mean, there's things like, I mean, uh, mercury in some of these bulbs, and we don't want that just going to the landfill, getting crushed, and then going in the ground. So take it to a place like Monster that's gonna actively recycle the light bulbs so that that mercury does not end up in the ground and contaminate things, but can actually then be reused. Really cool. I'm not really gonna get into lighting today, but what I really wanna talk about today for you guys is this little device here. It's a light meter. I don't ever think I've seen a gardening shop that has a light meter but this hydroponics store does. It's the Sun Systems light meter. This is about an $80 product that basically will tell you how much light you're getting. I mean, this is the, the number one way to learn how much light you're getting. I mean, one of the questions I get a lot is, hey, John, can I grow in the shade? Well, I don't know, what is it? Full shade, partial shade, 25% shade? You know, with a light meter, you'll totally know how much light you're getting and you'll be able to see if you're able to grow certain crops in a shaded area or not. That being said, instead of spending $8 for a light meter, there are now iPhone and probably Android apps that actually will also do a similar thing for free. So save your money on the light meter and, and download an app and use your camera that'll take in the light and give you a number so that you can compare you know, areas in your yard that have different lighting to see if those areas can be uh, you know, viable for growing fruiting crops. In general, you know, the, if your crops are fruiting, flowering, budding, and all this kind of stuff, you need more light. 
uh, than crops that are just going to be in the more vegetative mode and just producing leaves for you to eat. You know, things like herbs and lettuces and leafy greens are fine in low, lower light situations where fruiting crops, of course, need a lot more light. So uh, next, let's go ahead and move on into some of their areas. We're just going to quickly tour around some of these areas of the, the shop here. They got all different lighting controllers that I don't really even know about. We're not going to talk about today. They got all these uh, hydroponic nutrients here that are, you know, made out of synthetics and all this kind of stuff that I'm not a big fan of either. The section I want to talk about is right here, and this is the insect control section. So whether you're growing indoors or outdoors, even indoors you may have some insect challenges, but outdoors especially, you know, they have a whole bunch of different products here to prevent insect damage and to get them buggers, literally. So, I mean, all these different products, I'm just going to go ahead and pick out one for you guys today. My favorite product to use out of all these products here from a quick look is just the neem oil. The neem oil is a organic and it's from the neem seed. It's just the oil of the neem seed, so it's natural, organic. I actually use this in my garden. And it, this is what I use for things like spider mites and aphids and all this kind of stuff. I basically mix it with some Dr. Bronner's salsa soap and the neem oil and then spray it on my crops. And it takes care of the bugs every single time. It's amazing. I mean, there's so many different products you may get and they may be full of different things in there, but the ingredients on this is just literally 100% neem oil, so just pure, tried and true. like this one a lot. Let's go ahead and continue down this section here. they got a lot of different um, things that kill bugs, but we're going to talk about another one, another one of my favorite products right here. And actually, that's this one right here. This is the insect frass. So the insect frass, what this is, this is literally bug poop. So you might be putting worm castings in your garden. You might be using some back guano. This is basically... Uh, insect poop, probably from beetles, and this is actually sold as a 2-2 fertilizer, but besides being a fertilizer, there's two more reasons why it's very valuable. Number one is because all the biological activity, so there's beneficial microbes and fungi and bacteria and whatnot in here, which is going to add life to your soil, and the other thing that's in here is uh, it'll cause your plants to produce chitinase. So what happens when the plant produces the chitinase, it's inside the plant cells, and when the bugs try to eat the plant, it gets some of that chitinase and it's like pouring acid on your skin. It'll melt you. It melts the shells of little bugs. So then they're like, oh, I'm getting melted, man. I'm going to like, like on, what's that? Uh, <laughs> Wizard of Oz. I'm melting. It's going to melt the bugs so that, you know, uh, the plants are going to have their own defense. So you're not spraying them. The, the plants are making their own defenses against the insects. And this is how nature would work if there's all these different nutrients in nature. So that's why I like the frass so much. Let's uh Go ahead and continue on. I mean, in, in past videos, I've also talked about the serenade disease control before, and also, of course, the diatomaceous earth, which I like a lot. And this one's actually Armory uh, listed. Uh, let's see, I think that's the end of the insect section. Next, let's go over here and uh, look at some of the nutrients here. Now, you know, there's lots of different uh, nutrients. A lot of them are synthetic and some are natural, and I'm not a big into nutrients a whole lot. Here's a, a line that I was just uh, introduced to. It's the Nectar for the Gods line. The Nectar for the Gods is a single nutrient solution. So here's like the carbon solution, a fish bone meal solution, a guano tea, a liquid calcium, Athena's aminas, liquid bone meal, growth enhancer, Gaia, mania supplement, Medusa's magic soul nutrient. So, you know, I'm not really a big fan of like single nutrient mixtures in in nature, there's like no single nutrient mixtures. I'm like, I like a combination of things to give your plant everything it needs and let your plant figure out what it exactly needs. Speaking about that, let's get into this next product we're going to talk about here in the hydroponics store. This is a very valuable uh, test kit. This is actually put out by Hydroform, and this is actually called Soil Water or Hydroponic Solution Test Kit. And this is Hydro RX. And this kit here, you're going to buy this kit. And then inside this kit, there's a couple different things here. They got like little vial here. You're gonna fill up this vial with either water or hydroponic solution, or they have a little baggie here uh, to fill up with some uh, some of your soil. And uh, once you fill that in, you're gonna send that in. And let's see if it's a prepaid envelope here. Nope, not prepaid envelopes. You're gonna have to put a stamp on this. And then you're going to mail this into the, the company here, the testing lab, and then they're going to basically send you back an email or whatnot uh, with an analysis of your water, your hydroponic solution, or your soil. 
In this way, you're actually going to know a starting point on where you're at and what you may need to add or maybe even subtract uh, from your soil or your hydroponic water solution or just your regular water. Like, especially if you're on a regular water, city water, I definitely encourage you guys to at least minimally filter the water before using it on your plants. So that's why I like this uh, little test kit. It makes it easy for you guys to test your soil. Another thing you may not know is that many local um, agricultural offices connected with different you know, universities also do soil testing, uh, probably at lesser cost than uh, this test kit here. But this test kit just makes it easy. So moving on along, let's take a look at some other cool things here at Monster Gardens. Over on this wall here is uh, really valuable for outside growers. They got a whole bunch of different meters. So I always recommend, you know, testing your soil and testing your pH. And they got these different meters to test the moisture. So if you know, if you tend to overwater or underwater your plants by getting a moisture meter, you're gonna be able to know if your plants have enough water or if they need more. Overwatering is probably the number one cause for, you know, rapid plant losing their lives. <laughs> Besides from that, they also have things like this, the trellis netting. This is actually a really cool nylon string trellis that I've actually used on my uh, raised beds in my front yard garden. This is actually five feet tall by 30 feet. So this could span the whole backyard fence that you have to grow pumpkin vines or beans up it. So really cool. This is a size you don't see too much, the 30 foot long uh, trellis netting. In addition, they also have some other kind of clips and some other uh, trellis and whatnot. But what, what I want to talk about next is some of the microbiologics. And this is what everybody should have in their soil, in their ground. I mean, if you were here in where the United States is now, like 200, 300 years ago, there was massive abundance of these microbes and things in the soil. But now due to, you know, soil depletion and erosion and construction and massive farming and not treating the soil well, they're now disappearing. So we want to add these things back into the soil for optimal plant growth. I'm going to go ahead and talk about just a few of them now. Probably my favorite one in this whole little section here is probably this guy right here. It's the mycos or the mycorrhizae. The mycorrhizae are little fun, fun guys. I wish they had fun girl mycorrhizae that colonize the root zone that basically bring nutrients in to the plant so that the plant can be more effective with bringing nutrient uptake. Also, it'll actually uh, reduce the amount of water your plant needs. So they say, you know, your plants will be more drought tolerant by maybe like 20% I've heard in some cases. I can't tell you that I have used mycorrhizae on some uh, patio tomatoes and they're supposed to be patio tomatoes and they're supposed to stay pretty small. <laughs> These patio tomatoes grew crazy big. It was insane and they yielded so much. So I'm really a big fan of the mycorrhizae. It's just really gonna make the soil work that much more efficiently for you. Another product I like here also is called the Azos, and these are nitrogen fixing microbes. So, you know, much like peas, you know, have nitrogen fixing microbes on their roots, this will add that to the soil so that all your plants could be more efficient at bringing in the nitrogen. I also have heard by adding the uh, Azos and the TM7 product here, which is a soluble humic acid concentrate with seven micronutrients together, you know, if you're doing cuttings and rootings, it's going to work a lot better and a lot faster for you. Now, aside from these ways, which are basically single nutrient ways to add microbes and bring the life back in your soil, they also have things like compost teas. So they have, you know, something like the Bounty, which is a compost tea. And the Bounty, they have all different little boxes. And if you're going to make a Bounty, you got to buy like a whole bunch of different boxes and you put a little smidge of this, smidge of that, and then you brew your tea up. And you know, that could actually get quite costly. So instead of the bounty, a more affordable solution, and what I like better is this stuff right here. This is actually called the Boogie Brew Compost Tea. Now the Boogie Brew Compost Tea, it's not just all separate. I mean, this little bag here has, I don't know, like a dozen ingredients. I mean, it's like premium biodynamic humus, worm castings, rock phosphate, langbanite, soy, kelp, and alfalfa meals. Cold water North Atlantic kelp extract, nutritional yeast, ocean trace minerals, and volcanic rock powder, 70% humic acid from Leodernite shale, organic evaporated cane sugar juice. So, I mean, this is everything you need to brew your own compost tea. And actually, here at the store, they're actually brewing their own compost tea here in this little compost tea brewer. We got it shut off right now because I'm making the video. But as a Growing Your Greens viewer, if you come down here, 
to the store here. This is only if you're local. If you come to the store here at Monster Gardens anytime with a one gallon container, up to one gallon container. So if you don't have a one gallon container, bring like uh, two two liter bottles or whatnot. And uh, mention GYG, Growing Your Greens. They'll let you fill up one gallon of free tea here. I mean, normally they sell this stuff uh, $7 per gallon, bring your own bottle. And for my viewers here, they're going to give you one free gallon to use yourself. I strongly believe in the compost teas for its microbial activity they are going to add to the soil. It's basically going to add nutrients to the soil, but also enrich and enliven your soil so that the soil can start making its own nutrients or make those nutrients that are already locked up in the soil more bioavailable for the plants. So that's really cool they're doing that. Uh, next, let's go ahead and uh, look at some other areas of the store where they got some hands-on samples that I can start playing with. Also in this store, it's really cool because they have a, like a lot of the different things like light out. So you know, a lot of hydro stores you'll go into, you'll see like they won't have like a full display of all the different size pots they have. I mean, they got all kinds of different fabric pots and regular grow pots. These are kind of cool, like nice heavy-duty square pots here. They got standard round pots too. And what's even cooler about this is, you know, say you got a pot and you need to get like a little saucer for it. They got all the saucers here on the wall here so you could go by and just like, okay, this is my pot. Does that fit? Oh, too big. Oh, there's the right size right there. And they got all the different size saucers because, you know, I know a lot of you guys, if you're indoor growers or have a patio and people living below you, you're in an apartment, you don't want water dripping on them. They got all the different size saucers so that you can prevent that from happening. And Yes, uh, as I'm showing you guys all this stuff in the retail store, you can come here and buy it, but many of these products are also available on their website, monstergardens.com. So let's see, uh, aside from these fabric pots, some of the cool things I like, they got a lot of cool stuff hanging out, and this is badass. This is actually called the Hudson Atomizer. So I mean, you want the way to like best uh, dose out your natural organic uh, pesticides on your plants, you're gonna atomize it. Atomizing basically instead of like a pump sprayer, this is like 10 times better than the pump sprayer because you're going to plug this in and it's literally going to basically make like a foreign particle, almost like a fog, but not quite. And it's just going to douse your plants with the, the natural organic pesticides. So like I would put like fill this up with some water, some neem oil, some Dr. Bronner sal suds and spray this all over my crops as a natural insecticide. I'm literally spraying soap and neem oil and I'm atomizing it and the reason for the atomization is because it will get everywhere like if you're going out in the fog I mean I can remember as a kid you know driving my bike to high school in the fog and man my my face and everything would just be dripping wet from the fog so when you atomize it it gets everywhere if you're using a pump spray it only gets where you're where you're pumping it and where you're spraying to but atom that when it's atomized it just like gets everywhere and that means you're going to get better leaf contact, which means that if it comes in contact with the leaves, it's coming in contact with the bugs, which means the bugs are kaput. So yeah, really cool. They got the atomizer here. Of course, they got your standard sprayer here too. They got a whole lot of filters. But what's really cool is these little demonstration things they got here. So this demonstration, they got a little easy cloner here, but more impressive is up in this rack here, they got little fish tanks and they're showing you the little bubblers. So they got all the little air stones here, and these air stones, you can see how much air each bubbler puts out. So my main use of bubblers are for when I'm brewing compost tea. We want to aerate the compost tea. We want to put in some oxygen in the water. The oxygen causes the aeration, and this causes the bacteria to flourish. You mean many people may not have a adequate stone like these guys here. They might use a little fish tank stone. I mean. One of these stones here is relatively inexpensive, maybe five bucks or so, and they can put out a lot of air to, uh, you know, uh, really bring your compost tea up to full spec. Let's take a look at some of these air stones. I mean, you can see some of these air stones. I mean, this is like a fish style tank air stone, you know, not too cool. And then they got these little Eco Plus air stones, a small round, medium round. And this is my favorite air stone. I mean, it's the price performance leader. This guy is around five bucks or so, maybe six bucks pumps out a lot of air for its volume and nice and heavy and durable. This is the same exact air stone I use myself actually. If you got an air stone, you're also gonna need a pump to drive it to pump some air in because we don't want you using one of those fish tank pumps because they just don't put out enough air into the water. To drive your air stone, you need a good pump and this is the pump I like. This is a 45 liter per minute active aqua pump. And what I like to do is actually hang my pump in the air instead of sitting it on the ground and then it's actually more quiet. 
So the reason why you want a high power pump is you want to really infuse the air bubbles into your solution. And I recommend using like one to two uh, liters of air per minute per one liter of liquid. So this 45 liter pump will drive and make about uh, maybe about 12 to 14 gallons of tea. So, you know, this one pump you could actually run two five gallon buckets off of. Definitely really cool. So you could have a lot of compost tea to feed to your little baby plants. And I, on a regular basis, feed my compost tea to my plants. I'll just brew a batch and I'll do one section of my yard and then I'll like brew another batch and then I'll do another section of my yard and I'll keep brewing teas and infusing it before you lose it uh, and going around my whole yard and then when I finish the whole yard I might give it a break a little while then I'll start up again and then I'll go back around again and we want to always make sure the ground has enough um, microbes and bacteria and beneficials in there so that they can help the plants absorb more, more nutrition and bring it into your plants so you have healthier plants uh, more disease and pest resistant plants but also better tasting plants and produce as well. This storage huge. They got all these little like salad spinner things right here that you can draw your salad in. I think they're actually used for some other stuff. But uh, over on this side is some stuff that's useful to you and I. And that's uh, these guys are little like uh, greenhouse domes. But this is a really cool one, man. This is a greenhouse dome that has the built-in temperature and humidity. Because, you know, many, I've never really seen one with this built in. So this is really cool. You can monitor that. In addition, they have little vents here that you can open if you're getting too humid inside. In addition, you can get a, a heat mat to put underneath here and then you'll totally know the temperature inside. You know, certain seeds like certain temperatures and with this, you can monitor it accurately to provide your seeds the temperature they need to fully germinate and get the optimal uh, seed starting capabilities. And uh, once again, these products are available online if you can't make it down the store. I mean, some of these products are quite unique. Actually, I wanna talk about some of these also, I mean, they got different little tray here for starting your seedlings inside. Let's see, some of these trays are really cool. If you haven't yet got, wow, these are actually quite heavy duty. If you haven't got into uh, growing your own microgreens inside and you haven't ordered the trays, these are the exact trays you need. I mean, these are more heavy duty trays than I've ever seen. Most of the time they're like flimsy stuff. This is actually nice and uh, thick. So you wanna get these trays here that actually don't have the holes in them. The ones that have the holes are not good for growing the microgreens because the water is going to drip out. But these are pretty rare and actually even rarer when they're a heavy duty like this. And to grow microgreens it's really simple. And you're just going to get two of them and you're just going to use one over the other after you germinate your seeds and then you're going to take them off and grow in there. So I mean if you're into growing microgreens I'd order a bunch of these trays so you could have a whole bunch of trays growing in your kitchen. Uh, be sure to check my other videos on growing microgreens on how specifically to do that if you haven't already seen it. It's super simple, super easy. And these are also the same berry trays you can also grow things like sunflower greens and wheatgrass uh, in your home as well. Now we're underneath all the little light reflector things and this is all cool but I'm not really into lighting. I mean, in my opinion, like a lot of the lighting, especially the higher pressure sodium, like you get a lot of light and stuff and whatnot. They, they can get quite expensive and actually generate a lot of heat. So my favorite kind of lighting for growing vegetables and stuff indoors is basically LED lighting and fluorescent lighting. I mean, there's still, the fluorescent lighting by far is the easiest and cheapest. I mean, you can go down to Walmart and get some fluorescent tube lighting. And for growing most things like vegetables and non-fruiting crops, you're going to be totally fine with that. Even just overwintering some of your crops inside, some fluorescent lights, I mean, you can't beat the price performance ratio for just, uh, you know, keeping your plants growing inside. So the last part of the tour here is the, you know, something I don't necessarily recommend you guys buy online because it can get quite heavy and expensive to ship, but that's all the different products they have in bags and their different soil mixes. Um, and this is really cool. I like that they actually have little displays so you can actually see what each soil mix looks like. And that's really cool. While these uh, mixtures are pretty much made for people growing soilless indoors, you can actually also use these outdoors and amend it with compost, but that could get actually quite expensive, so I don't necessarily recommend that. Although they do have a couple good brands of potting soil here, like I like this potting soil here, kind of get, can get quite expensive, the Fox Farm Ocean Forest Potting Soil. Some of the other products I like down here, of course, are the, uh, the worm castings. So they got the... Uh, earthworm castings here, the wiggle worm earthworm castings. They also got the uh, 
Worm Gold plus Earthworm castings. I say between these two castings, I definitely have to say I like the Worm Gold plus Worm castings. Actually, they have a high chitinase contact, plus they're also enriched with the kelp and the rock dust, which is really cool. And that's like nutrition already in there for your plants ready to go. The last product in this section that actually does kind of make sense to ship is this stuff. If you can't find it locally, I always recommend, you know, especially on these bulk soils and whatnot, you guys find it locally, find a local nursery, visit your local hydroponic store because in most cases it does not pay when you have to pay for shipping on some of these products. I mean, this is actually quite heavy. But I did want to mention this one because this is actually called the uh, coconut core mix. And this is actually just a compressed block here this will expand into like two and a half cubic feet this one little block here now i like coconut core much more than i like peat moss the coconut uh, palm produces like 100 to 120 nuts a year and those nuts are eaten for food and also the coconut water is probably my favorite beverage on earth by far but besides that it makes the coconut husk that then can get recycled into this coconut core that's really good to hold water in your soil and I like this far more than peat moss, which is not as renewable or barely renewable resource in my opinion. So yeah, always look for the coconut core, but it's very important to get a good quality coconut core instead of just any old one off the street. I'm sure this one, the Hydroform one, is a fairly good one. I mean, that's pretty much the end of the tour here at Monster Gardens. I mean, we gave you a little tour of their shop. I showed you some of the cool products I liked a lot. Now what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna take you to the back warehouse and we're going to share some warehouse only deals with the GYG viewers. Now we're in the Monster Gardens warehouse and this is where many of the different products are stocked that may get shipped out to you. Actually the shipping guys are just over yonder boxing stuff up while I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Now the, what I want to do now is actually go over some of the products that actually I'm going to feature on the Monster Gardens website so that they'll be available to you because I know some of these products can be very hard to find especially with extra discounts for my viewers. So the first products I want to share with you guys are going to be on the special page monstergardens.com slash GYG are these guys, the insect frass. I talked about this a little bit earlier. I definitely believe in the insect frass. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. Next products are going to be on that special page also. The uh, Mycos and the Azos Extreme Gardening. Add the microbes and the beneficial fungi back into your soil for better results. Also the... Uh, TM7, which can also help uh, propagation and rooting much quicker when used in combination with the Azos. Another thing that's going to be featured on the page are these guys right here, the neem oil. This is my number one uh, thing to do for pests in the garden is try neem oil first. It's basically 100% neem oil. There's no inert ingredients like some other things. Combine it with the Dr. Bronner soap. Get one of those atomizers or just use a standard pump sprayer. Now I like to have a dedicated pump sprayer for spraying my neem oil and I don't use that same pump sprayer for when I'm doing compost tea or other foiler feeding. Let's go ahead and put this aside. The other thing that's gonna be featured on the page is also this uh, little test kit, the Hydro RX test kit. It's gonna be able to test your water or your soil or your hydroponic solution so that you can determine what's going on in your garden. I mean, if you go into the doctors and you're sick, they might do some blood tests on you and the doctors could figure out what's going on well without doing you know water soil or hydroponic solution tests you know you don't you don't know what's going on properly and once you know what's going on then you could dial in what you're doing to improve it and uh, that's this product right here now the final product is the the grand finale the granddaddy that i've been waiting to show you guys actually and this is the one that i would order if i was going to order any one product because this is basically the all-in-one kit for your organic growing solution here. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. And this kit is actually from the people at Boogie Brew made available uh, through Monster Gardens. And this is the super deluxe Monster Gardens Boogie Brew kit. And inside here, the first thing you're gonna get is this stuff right here. This is the Boogie Humus. So you saw when I had a California humus, this is the Boogie Humus, rich in a fungal microbial activity in here to enrich your garden with some of those nutrients. In addition here, you got a whole bunch of pamphlets and a boogie paraphernalia. <laughs> so go ahead and put that aside there. And then we got this huge bucket. Man, this is huge. Oh man, this is heavy. Ugh. All right, move that box aside. Man, this is heavy. This is like a 35 pound box. So shipping on this is definitely not gonna be cheap. So we got a 
a boogie brew bucket here. You can brew your own compost tea in there. And this is an all-in-one solution to brew your own compost tea in your garden. So we got the little top here, nice uh, top. And man, oh my God, there's so many things. This is like a candy candy store today. First, of course, we got the Boogie Blue water filter. Whether you're brewing your own compost tea or not, I encourage everyone to get a Boogie Blue filter. It's gonna take out the chlorine out of the water. The chlorine in your water can hurt the beneficial microbes in your soil. I mean, m many of you guys probably drink and buy bottled water. But meanwhile, you're spraying your, your plants with your city water, your chlorinated water that you yourself would not drink. But you're gonna later eat your plants. So think about that one. <laughs> so I always encourage you guys to use a water filter whenever possible. And especially important, when you're brewing your compost tea, you want to use filtered water. So they're including this with the kit so that you can get the best results the first time. In addition in here, after you make your compost tea, you're going to have to have a way to spray on your compost tea. So whether you want to pour it at the root zone of your plants, which I do, or you want to foil or feed it, they're going to provide you the tool you need to do that. And this is actually called the chameleon sprayer. So this one actually has a little dial here so you could dial in the amount of uh, compost tea or anything else you want to spray onto your plants. It's going to mix it and then just spray it on. So you can foil or feed or just uh, spray this into your root to give a lower dosage of the compost tea than full strength. And that's once again included too. In addition, we got the humic acid powder in here and this is uh, basically a naturally mined and ground up powder that can help your plants absorb nutrients more efficiently that's a little small uh, one pound pack here in addition we got the water soluble sea kelp powder i'm a big advocate of adding sea kelp uh meal we mean whole kelp I actually check my past episodes where i've actually harvested my own seaweed and kelp and actually just added it to my garden you can now get a water soluble solution so if you're liquid feeding or you know want to do a foiler feed of this stuff it's excellent to do this is basically going to enhance your growth rates from what I've seen. Next, we're going to go ahead and, uh, of course, you're going to get an air stone because you're going to be brewing your own compost tea to go along with the air stone. You're going to also get some air tubing. I mean, this is an all-in-one kit. In addition, you're going to get the, uh, the actual pump itself right in here. You can pull that out. The active aqua pump that I talked about a little bit earlier in the video, this will basically drive two five-gallon buckets worth of tea and you actually get a nice little manifold so you get actually just uh, put put the, the tubing into you know one of each of the buckets with an air stone and brew 10 gallons of compost tea at one time. Next of course we got the Worm Gold Plus. This is the high chitinase uh, worm casting that you can add to your teas but also just directly add to the base of some of your plants. In addition we got the C90. So the C90 is the trace minerals, 90 plus trace minerals contained in this little packet here. You're going to take one little teaspoon of the C90 to one gallon of water and then water that into your plants to add the trace minerals back in your soil. The trace minerals, probably more than anything else in this whole kit, this is probably one of the most valuable things aside from adding the micros back into the soil. Over here is a new product. It's actually called the Boogie Bricks. Uh, this is sweet and sticky heavy mix. That's what it says here. It's basically a high-grade molasses water-soluble formula to feed in your plants. In addition, you're going to get the jumbo size eight-pound bag of pre-mix boogie brew. You don't have to mix different items to make your own compost tea when you buy the boogie brew. You just buy this whole kit. It comes with eight pounds of the boogie brew tea, which will make 150 gallons. This is going to make a lot of compost tea to enrich your entire garden with so that they can grow healthy, wealthy, and wise like we all want to grow. And uh, of course, you get the, the boogie uh, burlap sack. And this is the burlap sack that you're going to be brewing your compost tea in. It's made out of natural burlap. has that nice smell there. That's going to allow your compost tea to thrive. In addition, you're just going to get this standard five-gallon boogie brew bucket to brew your compost tea in. So, I mean, this value here is about $280 of different products here and on the special website monstergardens.com slash gyg it's going to be available for $169 this is probably the lowest price you'll find on a ready to use all in one compost tea uh, kit in a bucket that you could find anywhere 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here at the Monster Gardens today. I mean, I share all these products with you to give you guys options, to give you guys alternatives instead of being, you know, hooked on nutrient solution, instead of being hooked on, you know, miracle craft fertilizers that you got to put out every week. I mean, if you use these products that I'm showing you guys today and you build your soil, right, your soil and the microbes are going to break down nutrients and you keep adding organic matter to your soil, that's going to break open the nutrients existing in your soil for your plants to uptake so that you could get away from you know continually buying stuff you know every, and feeding every week and this is a more natural approach this is the approach that has been used in nature for thousands of years can you go out and formulate your own compost teas and make your own compost teas absolutely i recommend you know using a tried and true product that works i mean i've never found a negative view on the boogie brew compost tea I've been using it myself with great results and so have many of my viewers hey if you're one of the viewers that have been using the compost tea already hey post down below and let people know your guys experience because in my experience this stuff just works so hopefully this episode was really valuable for you guys to learn more about what's available maybe at your local hydroponics store that may help you as an insole gardener but also some of the products that monster garden has here uh, in Rohnert Park if you want to come by once again you can get your free gallon of uh, Boogie Brew compost tea if you bring your own container and show up at the store here Monday through Saturday and if not you can order most all the products that I featured and showed you guys on the website monstergardens.com now I chose to feature monstergardens.com on this video today because Monster Gardens does an incredible amount of work more than any other hydroponic store I've ever seen on trying to educate the consumer about the different products in the industry they have their own YouTube channel that has a bunch of videos showing different products comparing different products and they do a lot of their research and legwork and do a lot of trials and testing to find the best products that are gonna work best for your needs so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode once again my name is John Kohler with growingyourgreens.com we'll see you next time and remember keep on growing